Welcome to my YouTube channel and today's lesson is about forming and solving algebraic equations. In our topic, there are three phrases that have been used. One of them is forming, the other, another one is solving, and the other one is equations. Therefore, we are putting these three things together. We are forming expressions, we are also solving them using the equal sign, meaning at the end of the day or at the end of our working out, we shall have an answer. This one is different from the algebraic expressions. Let's work out our first example. We have been told that the length of a rectangle is twice the width. If the perimeter is 48 centimeters, what is the width? So we need to identify the phrase that has been used there. And how many are nodes in that question? Therefore, we are forming expressions and solving them. The expression involves the following phrases twice. So the length is twice the width. We don't know the width. Not that we know the length, but the length is being related with the width. So length is twice the width. So in this case, we say let. Let whatever you don't know, which is the width, let the width be a letter like y. Therefore, our width is y and our length is twice the width, which is y. So our length is twice y. So now we have come up with this in relation to perimeter of a rectangle. How do we get perimeter of a rectangle? This is a rectangle. This is our length. Our length is twice y and our width is y. Perimeter of a rectangle is two brackets L plus W to get the perimeter. So now we need to put the length where we have the length, the width where we have the width, and then work out to get the unknown and our known there it's y so two bracket our length is two y plus our width and our width is y should give us perimeter which is according to the equation 48 centimeters so the first thing we remove the brackets two times two it's four y plus two y is equals to 48 as you can see, 4y and 2y are like terms. So we put these two like terms together. 4y plus 2y, that is 6y. 6y is equal to 48. I want, the, we want the value of y, we don't want 6. So we want the y alone. So we divide both sides by 6 by 6. So y is equal to 48 divided by 6. We have our answer here as 8. Let's do our next example. In this question, we are told that Ali is two years older than Juma. If their age is 14 years, what is the age of each child? So here there are two children, Ali and Juma. But according to the question, we have been told that Ali is two years older than Juma. We said older is a phrase that means addition. Meaning, if you want to get the age of Ali, because Ali is older than Juma by two years, we will say the age of Juma plus two to get the age of Ali. Again, we don't know exactly what's the age of Juma. Therefore, because we don't know the age of Juma, we say let the age of Juma be a letter like even X. So let Juma's age to be X. When Juma is X, Ali is two more than this X. Remember, this is not twice, this is older, more. Therefore, Ali will be X plus two. And when their age is put together, it's 14. Meaning the sum of their age is 14. What is the age of each child? So, age of Juma, which is X, put together with the age of Ali, which is X plus two, should give us a total of 14 years. Here, we need to solve or we need to work out by bringing like terms together as from our previous lesson. So x plus x is 2x plus 2 is equal to 14. This 2 
is a number the partner or the like, like term is on the other side of the equal sign therefore remember we said we take the opposite of this sign if the sign is addition once the number crosses the other side of the bracket it becomes subtraction the opposite therefore 2x is equals to 14 take away 2 which is 12 we want the value of x so we don't want this coefficient here to do away this coefficient here we divide both sides by 2 and our x is equals to 6 therefore according to the expression here x is juma juma was six years because juma was the one with x so juma is equals to six ali is equals to x plus two and our x is six so six plus two which is equals to eight years and you can as well try to prove this the sum of their age was 14. So 6 plus 8, it's 14. And therefore, that's where you can know whether you are correct or not correct. Let's try another example. In our third example, we are told that to find the value of x in this figure, which is a triangle, the sum of the interior angles of a triangle adds up to 180. Therefore, to get the value of x, we are putting these interior angles together. There is x added to 2x plus 25 degrees added to the third angle, which is 2x plus 5 degrees. All this, when put together, should give us 180 degrees. So let's come to the left-hand side and we put like terms together. x and x's and numbers and numbers. So x plus 2x, that is 3x. 3x plus 2x, that is 5x. 25 plus 5, because 5 and 25 are like terms, they are numbers. You get 30 degrees. Should give us 180. This 30, it's a like term to 180. Therefore, it needs to cross the other side. And the side changes from addition to subtraction. So 5x is equal to 180, take away 30, which is 150 degrees. We want the value of x, so we divide both sides by 5, by 5. And our x is, by 5 divided by 5 is 1, 50 divided by 5 is 3, so 3 times 10 is 30. And the value of x is 30 degrees. Let's work out our next example. In our fourth example, we are told that Musoka has x cows. This is four times as many cows as Mogai has. They have 40 cows all together. How many cows does Mogai have? In this question, you need to identify who has more cows than the other one. So you're being told Mosioka has X cows. And this X cows is four times as many cows as Mogai has. So Mosioka, already you know what Mosioka has. Mosioka has X cows. Mogai we don't know what Mogai has, but I've been told when you put them together, they give you 40 cows. So, Musioka is four times of what Mogai has, meaning Mogai is a quarter of what Musioka has. So, Mogai will be a quarter X. Therefore, when you put this together, we get X plus a quarter X should give us 40 cows. A quarter plus x this x is just one so one plus a quarter is one and a quarter x should give us 40. we want to get the value of x when, to, when you reach this step you change the mixed fraction to improper fraction so four times one it's four plus one is five over four x is equals to 40. we want to be left with x on this left hand side so we need to do away with this fraction part to do this fraction part, you multiply the reciprocal of the fraction on both sides. So the reciprocal of 5 over 4 is 4 over 4. Also here, 4 over 4. So that when you cancel, you remain with 1. 1 times x will just be x. So by 5, 1. By 5, it's 8. 8 times 4, it's 32. 
Therefore, the value of x is 32. Meaning Musioka is the one with 32. Mogai is a quarter of the x. And a quarter of x, it means a quarter multiplied by the value of x, which is 32. By 4, 1, by 4, 8. Musioka, Mogai has 8 cows. When you put them together, 32 plus 8, you go back to 40 cows. And by that, you can prove whether you are correct or wrong. In this question, we are told that John thinks of a number n, subtracts 8 from it, and doubles the result, and the answer he gets is 12. What is the value of n? So we need to come up with the expressions first. And the expressions, we are being guided by the key phrases, and the phrases are subtract, doubles, Therefore, these are the key words. They are going to guide us what we are going to do when coming up with the expression. So let's start with the first thing. John thinks of a number called n. He subtracts 8 from it. So this 8 is being subtracted from n. So n subtract 8 and double the result. Our result is n take away 8. Then we double. So double means we multiply by 2. The answer he gets is 12. What is the value of n? So the first step, remove the brackets here to get the value of n. 2 times n is 2n. Take away 16 should give us 12. At this point now, you put like terms together. So 16 goes to the other side. It was addition, it was subtraction here. So the moment it goes here, we get the opposite of this sign, which is addition. 16 plus 12 is 28. So 2n is equals to 28. We want the value of n. So we need to do all with this coefficient 2 here. So divide both sides by 2. And our n is 28 divided by 2 is 14. And the value of n is 14. So that's the answer. I wish you the best. And kindly remember to subscribe to my channel. Share with your friends. And also leave a comment. Also, practice. Remember, practice makes perfect. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.